Hey guys, welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to install the super randomizer for Borderlands 2, since there's been a lot of requests from people to make a tutorial for this. So the super randomizer has been a little bit popular lately, and it includes four random mods, such as enemy randomizer, a gun randomizer, class mod randomizer, and skill randomizer. And I'll show you how to install most of these. So the first thing you need to do is download the hex multi tool for Borderlands 2. I'll link everything in the description. So you click on this link and then you click on this and it should prompt you to download it. Uh, you should put it in your binaries folder, which is located here, but it shouldn't matter where you place this thing. It's, it's basically the same thing. Now this is my binaries folder open and I do have quite a lot of things. Uh, so you're gonna have to excuse that. Now you extract it in here, but I should already have this thing. So it's just going to prompt me to replace it. And then you should just run the tool and it's going to prompt you to hex it at your game. Once this thing actually loads, uh, it takes a bit. There it is. So you go into, oh, hold on. <laughs> I opened two of it. So you go into select path in here. And then it'll prompt me to select your borderlands2.exe, which is located here in binaries win32. And then there you go. And then you press on the BL2 icon in here, and it'll ask you to apply the console patch, and you click yes. And you make sure that you set your console key in here, and you're done. Your game is hex edit now. Um, you can also disable BL2 ads if you want, because I find these annoying, but that should set up the hex multi tool. Now, the the second thing that you want to do is actually download the super randomizer, and I'll link it in the description. And then uh, the file is a, is a little bit big; it's like 160 megabytes. And then you download it and you place it here. Now, make sure you have it properly named because I already downloaded it. And then it should just download instantly. Uh, so there is that taken care of. So the next thing you want to do is download the Python SDK, and that's how you get the skill tree randomizer running. So you go into here, and then you click on Python SDK, and then you place this thing in Win32, and then you place it here and you replace it. And the next course of action you should do is actually just extract it in Win32. And it should just be as simple as that. Just extracting it in here. And you should have a mods folder and this is where you can have your SDK mods. And I do believe that skill tree randomizer is part of it. And you're kind of done. That should be all of it. Now there are a few things I want to let you guys know about uh, the super randomizer. Uh, you might get like random errors appearing and that's that's technically normal. Um, you also need all the DLCs for it, um, but if you don't have the Headhunter packs, uh, it will take a little bit to load, like it'll take like, tw it'll take longer to load, meaning that, uh, you don't have all the DLCs, but you can disable all the Headhunter packs. It has an option in BLCMM, which you don't need to use BLCMM for this because this should be straightforward. So, uh, once you're here. Uh, you boot up the game, and then you will execute the super randomizer after you boot up the game. So you press your console key, which is uh, Tilda for me, and then you type in execute super randomizer. And it should take a hot second to load. Like... A little bit because it's a really big mod to execute. Uh, that's how that's how you kind of know it's working, and you're gonna get like a billion errors. But you should these are all ignorable. I'm pretty sure you can ignore most of these. Um, now the skill tree randomizer should be in here, in the in the mods thing, and you just press enter to enable it. And there you go, it should be enabled. So now once you enter the game. Uh, your skill should be randomized. So let me create a level 30 commando. Just so we know it's working. 
Now, I'm not sure if the preset guns are going to get randomized. I, I assume that they will. But yeah, as you can see, it has taken quite a while for it to load. Uh, that's how you know it's kind of working. And if you have any questions, feel free to join my Discord. We'll, we'll help you out in there or in the comments section. But yeah, uh, this is such a fun mod to play around with. So here we go. I am in my thing. So it looks like I don't think uh, these guns actually get randomized because they have, they have select parts. But my skill tree is definitely random. That's how you kind of know it, uh, it randomizes. When my skill tree is actually randomized because I'm pretty sure these guns are actually just set guns. But this is random. This is the this is the uh, the skyrocket. Yeah, it's random. That's how that's how you kind of know it works. But these guns, I don't think they get randomized. I don't think it's the fault of <laughs> of the mod. But it's definitely working because this thing is um, this thing's interesting. And there you go. It's a fireball. So yeah, I hope you guys found this video helpful, and I'll see you guys next video. Thank you for watching.